what's up guys welcome to EMS Ballistics we're gonna be shooting some brake rotors today some front vented rotors so they're pretty tough and we're probably gonna use a pistol only at first just to see if we can get through it if we can't then of course we're gonna step it up to rifles because we're gonna get through them okay here's the, ro the rotors that we're gonna be shooting they are heavy and they are off of a uh, SUV so, you know, if they're strong enough to stop your car, let's see how well they hold up to pistols. All right, so classic fashion, we're going to start out small. We're going to start out with a 380 uh, from this little Ruger LCP, and then uh, we'll step it up from there if this doesn't go through, which I don't see this going through, but never know. Let's find out. Okay, so just like I thought, uh, did not go through. Didn't actually even leave a dent. <laughs> I can't even feel anything there. Um, just polished off real nice. All right, let's step it up. Something a little faster. All right, here we go. Stepping it up one little notch. Uh, nine millimeter from uh, Smith & Wesson uh, MP Shield 2.0. I don't think this is going to go through either. So the 9mm did about the same as the 380. Um, I know it's cast iron, so it's <laughs> pretty tough stuff, but just kind of polished it. Uh, I can actually, I can feel a little ding in there. I can't feel anything on the 380. I feel a little, little divot on that one. All right, step it up, 10 millimeter. All right, step it up again. Uh, Glock 20, 10 millimeter. I don't see this going through either. This this might have enough force to crack it, uh, but I still I don't I don't think it's going to do anything. Let's find out. Okay, and the verdict on 10 millimeter is, oh wow, put a really nice dent. I don't know if you can, you can probably see that. That's twisted. Put a really big dent in there. Um, but still did not go through, not even close. So, 44 Magnum. Okay, well, judging by how hard that 10 millimeter hit, I think the 44 Magnum might actually puncture through that first layer, or uh, at least you know put a good crack in it, because 44 Mag is a pretty substantial step up, even from 10 millimeter. So let's see. All right, let's check out this 44 Magnum damage. Oh, <laughs> we got it. Went through. It's probably still a little warm. All right. We picked, We made it. We made it through. Cracked the edge right here, and it punctured. So, very cool. 44 Magnum can make it through. All right, let's quit playing around and break out the rifles. All right, 44 Magnum broke through the first layer of that brake rotor, so let's see if these green tip 5.56s will go through the front and the back side because they're going about double the speed of a 44 Magnum. All right, let's find out. These green tip 5.56s are light armor penetrating, so let's see. I, I don't know if they're light rotor penetrating, but let's find out. I want to see it go through both sides. All right, 556 five, green tip. What do you think? You think it went through? I can definitely see the entrance here. Really nice entrance hole. Fairly clean. Much cleaner than the the 44 Magnum. But did it go all the way through? It 
did not. And I don't even feel a bulge on that side. So, time to step it up. Okay, for those of you who are subscribed to the channel, you know that when rifles come out, the 4570 has to come out. So we're going to be shooting a 460 grain plus P hard cast. I'm getting through that rotor somehow, some way. So let's see if this will do it. I love that 460 grain hard cast. My shoulder doesn't. All right, big old entry. Big old exit. Heck yeah, nice. Well, we did it. We finally got through both sides. Took a monster slayer to do it, but anyways, check back next week. I'm gonna have a really cool video. I got something pretty cool in store. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you next week.